Shafiq, thanks for joining me. Now, uh, uh, you're part of the Microsoft Purview team. Mm -hmm. You and your team have been working pretty tirelessly for the last few months on the new Purview experience. Mm -hmm. That was actually unveiled at this event we're at right now called uh, Fabric. And uh, why don't you talk us through some of the new capabilities that you and the team have been working on when it comes to Microsoft Purview? So Microsoft Purview now, a new version is completely integrated experience that we are bringing in the market. Mm -hmm. It has a completely business domain, business domain map with the data product and data product map with data asset. And then we have a data quality integrated and MDM solution integrated. So that whenever people use the Purview to manage their data governance, they don't need to go to multiple tools, mm. everything integrated experience. Mm. So that is the cool thing that we are bringing in the market. Yeah. So, I mean, data governance is a somewhat umbrella of many different categories. You named a few. You've mm -hmm. got your cataloging. You've got kind of the defensive elements like security and mm -hmm. privacy. Mm -hmm. You talked about MDM and data quality. Now, of course, uh, the Clued-In and the Microsoft team have actually been working pretty closely uh, mm -hmm. together. In fact, uh, uh, you and I have been working pretty closely together. Why don't you talk us through, you know, our partnership that we've got and those, those capabilities of MDM and data quality, what do they actually add to the overall story? What, what value do they bring to the end customers that are using Purview? Today, when I'm talking with the customer, they're using multiple tools. Yep. One for MDM, one for cataloging, mm -hmm. one for data quality, and so on. Mm -hmm. So when you started thinking, okay, how we can bring this MDM experience mm -hmm. also as part of the, um, the Purview catalog? So then we partnered with you and integrated the, the Clued-In, mm. spent a few months, we integrated this in a kind of bi-directional integration. Mm. So that people, they don't need to really think for, okay, now I have Purview, oh, it's already integrated with this yeah. Clued-In. Mm. So I have partnership also with Clued-In, so mm. I don't need to really rebuild anything. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. can use the seamless the experience mm. with this into bi-directional integrations. So anything that we create, master data including, mm. will be automatically published in Purview, mm. and it will be linked to that master data data product, mm. so that people can consume and subscribe. Yeah, beautiful. So obviously, at Gen AI, we're at a Fabric conference, so there's a couple of key topics that are that are interesting, mm. and on everyone's uh, kind of uh, tip of their tongues. One is Gen AI. The other is obviously the new Fabric product. But hasn't governance been a, a huge thing? And I think the reason why is. Obviously, I think everyone's getting to that point where we realize if we want to actually yield some value out of AI, we need to make sure that we have good processes around our data. We need to make sure we're actually cleaning the data and feeding it uh, with good quality data. Um, what are the types of discussions you're having with some of your clients and customers here about what they foresee themselves doing with the new Purview experience when it comes to AI? Very good question. So customer always asking that one. My answer is that, hey, we are ready for AI, but yeah. are we ready with the data? Yeah. That is the number one. Mm -hmm. Because data quality and master data management, all this critical, mm -hmm. because the model, AI model, need to read those data. Yeah. So if we able to provide the trustable outcome from the model, we need good quality data mm -hmm. and good master data experience. Yeah. I think, um, you know, We've all been exposed to these new chat experience, experiences, things like ChatGPT. Obviously, the co-pilots in uh, Microsoft uh, 365 and lots of other products, uh, Fabric, uh, Purview also showed off their co-pilot experience the other day. And I think the interesting thing to your point is, more than any other form factor we've ever experienced, the use of a co-pilot surfaces bad data quality and bad data practices more than anything before. Right, we might uh, have a beautiful visualization in Power BI, and sometimes the data quality can get lost in that good-looking mm. pie chart. It kind mm. of, well, the data's showing, then I can make some uh, decisions off that. And uh, Copilot really seems to be that form factor where, no, 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 we have to solve data quality, MDM, and data governance right now. So I think in our discussions here at Clued In, that's been such a, a, a thread in all the conversations we're having is, no, actually, we're really bought into solving data governance and data quality right now. So obviously, we're at this Microsoft Fabric event. There are over 4,000 people uh, that have attended here. Maybe give uh, everyone a little bit of a, a teaser of what are some of the things you're thinking about in the future about Purview? And maybe some of those have been even fueled by the discussions you're having here at the event. So the in new version of the Purview, data governance, Copilot is completely integrated. Copilot, yeah. When we search, if we do not find the right list of the data product, mm -hmm. we can always ask the Copilot, 
by entering the natural language. Mm -hmm. Long description, anything we want to enter and it's fine. Yeah. With that beauty, we are adding also that, okay, if you go directly to the data product, you want to link the data asset, you can use also Copilot to find. Yeah. If someone find one, okay, it's clued in master data, mm -hmm. MDM mm -hmm. asset. They just need to write it, yeah. search it, it's listed there. Yeah. So these are the experience. It's make the users, the kind of user experience, very robust and they can very easily find those things, yeah, yeah. number one. Yeah. Another thing is that the quality of the data. Quality as score also can be integrated mm -hmm. with the search experience. Yeah. If the quality is high in the search, when they click the co-pilot, co-pilot will take that input and then list it on the top of the yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. So all this make the accounting user experience very, very a kind of excellent experience there. So I'm going to finish with a statement that I think both the, the Microsoft Purview team and Cludin are really well aligned on is mm -hmm. that uh, both teams think it's so important to start to bring the business more into the kind of supply chain of data, mm -hmm. not just as producers of data and consumers, but actually as uh, people that are responsible and for managing the data as well. And, um, you know, historically, I think this has been something hard to do because a lot of these uh, tools, they're kind of hard to wield and uh, they kind of require you to be quite technical in nature. And to your point, that what, cha what has changed is the co-pilot in that we can now use our natural intent mm -hmm. to actually say, well, this is what I'm wanting to do, but I'm not technical. But uh, that's where the large language models come in. They're able to do that translation to the underlying engine. Yes. So for me, uh, Shafiq... Uh, it's just been so good to work with your team so far, and I very much look forward uh, to more conversations like this and more good uh, products that we can give out to our customers. So thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. See you.